everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Horsemanship 101 series presented by Hanson Dam Riding School. Today we'll be talking about how to groom and brush your horse. First, you're going to use the curry comb. Using the hard side with the larger teeth, you're going to make big circles on your horse's neck and back to kick up any dirt, dust, or loose hair caught in the coat. Be careful to only use it on the back and neck. The belly, legs, and face are too sensitive for the hard side. Once you've done the body, you can flip the curry over and use the soft side with the small teeth to curry the legs and bring all that dirt, dust, and dander to the surface. Make sure you don't use the hard side on the legs, only the soft side. Second, you'll use the hard brush. This brush has long stiff bristles and is used in short flicking motions in the direction of the hair to brush off all of that dirt and hair you loosened with the curry comb. Just like the curry, only use this brush on the neck and the body, not the belly, face, or legs. Third is the soft brush. This brush is softer to the touch and has much shorter bristles. Use long sweeping motions in the direction of the hair to get off any excess dust or hair and give the coat a nice shine. The soft brush can be used all over the body, including the belly, legs, and even the face. When brushing the face, be sure to let the horse sniff the brush first, and be careful to avoid the eyes. Next, we're going to use Shoshin to detangle the tail. Tail hairs are very delicate. So to make sure we avoid pulling or breaking them, we spray a generous amount of shoshin in the tail. Make sure the shoshin gets into all parts of the tail, not just the outside, by shaking the tail out as you spray it. Be sure you're not standing directly behind the horse, but slightly to the side so the horse can see you, and so you're out of the way in case they kick. Now it's time to brush the tail. Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top slowly, brushing out any knots and shavings. I like to wrap it all up and let it unravel as I go to make sure I get all of the knots out of a section before I keep going. If you find any really big knots, work them out with your fingers instead of the brush to avoid breaking the hairs. For the mane, just like the tail, work from the bottom up and pull out big knots with your fingers. Work your way through, getting out any tangles and shavings. Same thing with the forelock. Just make sure you let the horse sniff the brush before you use it on their face. Sixth, we'll use the hoof pick to clean out their feet. Run your hand down the back of their leg and give a light squeeze at the fetlock to ask them to pick up their foot. Going from heel to toe, use the metal hook to pick out any dirt, rocks, or manure. Be extra careful on the V-shaped part of the hoof. This is called the frog, and it's very sensitive. Use the brush to clean out the frog and sweep out any excess dirt from the hoof. Seventh, use a damp sponge to gently clean out any gunk on the horse's muzzle. Be extra gentle around and inside their nose. Eighth, spray on fly spray to keep the flies off and give them a little extra shine. Apply in big sweeping sprays over the whole body. You don't need that much. To do the face, spray the fly spray in your hand and rub it into their face, making sure you avoid the eyes and nostrils. Finally, for a nice finishing touch, take a clean rag and rub it gently over the face, body, and legs. This will get off any extra dust and make them extra shiny. Look at how clean Nikki is. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Tony's Tactics. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or ideas about what you'd like to learn next, comment below and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks so much for watching and remember to always ask why. Bye for now.